to me, the parameters of success are, are we making mechanistic steps? Number one, are we making mechanistic steps forward in understanding how myelination normally happens? Because this is an extremely mysterious process. It's so fundamental to uh, understanding our brains and understanding myelin, but we don't even understand most of the basic signaling processes that drive myelination. What are the axonal signals that tell oligodendrocytes to myelinate? How do oligodendrocytes develop from their precursors? How do the oligodendrocytes respond to axonal cues by laying down myelin? And so I think that there's um, no question we've already seen a lot of success from MRF in that direction, and I'm sure there's going to be much more in the future. Um, but of course, the other steps for, from, for success, from my point of view, are next that we generate the next generation of myelin repair researchers. Um, traditionally, m- medical schools and graduate schools haven't done a good job of training young scientists about disease and about how to develop new treatments for disease. And so I see the Myelin Repair Foundation as playing a very important function there because it's involved their students so much in the whole myelin repair effort. And I'm sure that this is going to enormously um, uh, motivate these many of these students to continue to work on myelin repair in their own laboratories. Um, and then the third, and of course the most important thing, is can we generate new drugs that actually promote myelin repair and help MS patients? And actually I think it's particularly exciting is that many of the discoveries um, that the MRF is making were identifying new pathways that simultaneously seem to target the immune system, and the myelin repair mechanisms. And so it's quite possible that some of the new drugs that we develop will not only uh, help promote myelin repair, but also lessen the immune attack uh, against myelin. So I think that you know, if we could develop a new drug uh, for MS patients, of course, that would be uh, um, the most important thing we could do. And um, from what I've seen so far in the way the team is functioning, I'm very optimistic.